Here's my wet dream in biker boots. Or the day Dr. Chi becomes chief of PAP. The guy with a fatherly voice crumbles. The Ching Empress becomes my godmother. Rupert Murdoch, my retired uncle. ISD collapses and dies. The Malayan is sunk deep, 6,000 feet into the sea, banished in shame from monstrosity. The whole country is a more tolerable cheery gag when no one gripes about fascism anymore. The ministries go berserk and lock themselves behind bars, now known as sick government residents. No one looks like an MP or white with conventionality anymore. They all turn into lean, mean rubber tappers or my void deck cleaner with sensuous sexuality. While I become the patron saint of rock as black metal revives a country long dogged with hatred for decadence. The hills are alive with the sound of Dark Throne and Maduk spring jisms at those who went to Black Eyed Peas and Fall Out Boy concerts. Lady Gaga fans repent for a chance to catch Marilyn Manson live at last in Singapore, which promises no more Singapore idols, but more Annabelle Chong's lurid gangbangs on nationwide TV. Children are literally a scream in digitally pronounced sound to make sure everyone realizes we're dealing with spoiled brats and soiled diapers turning stomachs in hawker centers. Holy Moses, even the marriage council falls up to unfold a new institution. The aesthetics of boundless trysts. Any way you want it. For once, Salo swipes the Oscars from that still god-awful Schindler's list. While John Waters and Bruce LaBruce tie for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Everyone eats doggy do in memory of Divine. While the pigs and the sleaze bags from the censors can only go so far as scissor up hip-hop threads. No one's fashionable, cause all repressed yaya papaya attitude stings. We wear nothing except flippin' loincloths to gauge wind speed, shootin' the breeze. Life becomes an endless shootout with the government, and live wins, of course. What, you want a shag? Go eat dung holes and remember, always opt for oral. No one deserves to more than Singaporeans do. A nation cheated is the textbook of our redemption. As men in white is donated to pawn shops and all my shorts aired on TV. There's no Channel News Asia as all businesses seize. Money's a thing of the past and no news writer feels like the creme de la creme of the thinking box. The sprawling tide of sleaze mania takes over and rides this country into a newer millennium of heady sex, zen, and man-loving anarchy ethic, big enough to blow up all the bloody family value centers through the roof as we heartily sing, Singapore is free of sanctimonious self-righteousness. Finally.